And now it's time for a horror story. Whenever you're trying to learn a new programming language, or in this case, a new programming paradigm, there's something that you have to pay attention to. And it's the same thing that you have to pay attention to as when you're trying to learn to speak or write another language. And that is that you must use the language that you're learning. Don't fall into the trap of trying to write C programs in Haskell or C++ programs or C sharp programs in Haskell. Write Haskell programs when you're learning Haskell. That's the most important thing. Otherwise, you will not succeed. In particular, you're going to come across as not knowing the language that you're trying to learn and you may be unintentionally funny. This will probably appeal to the Danes among you, namely that it's very common to speak Danish even if you're trying to speak English. And that's the phenomenon uh, known as Danglish. There's also Spanglish and Franglais and many other uh, mixed forms of English uh, that really aren't English but uh, Spanish in disguise as English and French disguised as English and Danish disguised as English and German disguised as English and what have you. So use the language that you're learning. In particular, get the terminology right. Now we're programming in Haskell. Get the terminology right. We're talking about functions. We're not talking about methods. We're talking about declarations. We're not talking about assignments. Not anymore. We're talking about recursion, and we should use recursion. There's no such thing as loops in Haskell. Please get the terminology right when you're learning Haskell. And there's something, something that is particularly important to remember because Haskell is a type language. You must learn the language of types and be precise about types because that way you can understand the Haskell system and if a Haskell reports a type error when you're writing a Haskell program, you can understand what's wrong. You must learn the language of types. You must learn to understand the type rules. That way you can program well in Haskell. It's important, for instance, that when you're writing a function such as this one, the type of fn is not list to list. Oops, you can't say that. What is the type of fn? It's a function from a list to a list. That's what the Haskell system will tell you. So um, please learn the language of types. And in particular, when you're writing a program, when you're writing a Haskell function, uh, it's always a good idea to write down what you think the type is. In other words, use types as specification. Because that could help you think very nicely about types. Moreover, a very good piece of advice when it comes to structuring is to use local declarations. And when I say local declarations, I mean let and I mean where declarations. Wherever possible. Because that too will help you get better at programming in Haskell. So that's some initial advice that's going to be more later on. But please, please remember you're programming in Haskell. 
Use the structuring mechanisms. Use the type system because they're there for you. They're there to help you program well in Haskell.